Hey guys, Scott to Football here, back in another video, and today we are back for another week of the Premier League score predictions for game week four. Four, we have three games played so far. We're now into the fourth week where um, the fourth game for all clubs are going to be played. Let's get straight to it. Starting the call is Southampton versus Man United. Southampton in the end gained about. Southampton last week, um, I swear, they gained valuable points somewhere. I know that Say Adams as well scored two, was it? Yeah, uh, it was. They had they started off a win. They win last week away at Leicester from one 0 down with with two late two goals from Say Adams, one in the seventh, sixty eight, and one in the eighty fourth. And people, I spoke to one of my friends who's a Southampton fan, and people said apparently he wanted to get rid of him. I think he's decent. He's not the best Premier League player ever going, but I think he's too good for the league below, and he's actually a decent player. He decently played for the Scottish national side. And of course, with Corbin Man United, a big win over Liverpool on Monday, it was give them a massive morale and a big confidence boost. So it's vital they do get something out of the game, possibly. I can see Southampton getting a valuable point, considering the valuable points and a valuable win last time that they got. Personally, but after that confidence beat, Man United got. got on, they need to be beating teams to stand any chance of doing well and getting Europe this season. They need to win. So I'm going to say Southampton 1, Man United 2, but possibly, if I if I don't have to think of another result, I'll go 1-1 one, one, I'll go one, one or 2-2. Two, two. So let's stick with 2-1 Man United. Right, next game now we've got Brentford versus Everton. Two equally matched teams, I personally think. With Brentford with a on to, on West London derby day with a 3 2 defeat. Very good game. Two very good teams on their top. A Fulham have had a fantastic start to the season. Brentford have a decent start. But Mitrovic, the, um, the 90th minute hero for um, for Fulham, they have, they have got off a phenomenal start. They have. I wasn't too sure whether to go down at the start of the season. They've got a new manager, Marco Silva. He's a decent manager. He he gets teams up, he does, on the first time of asking. When he was at Everton, he didn't go down under him, but um, he just didn't do that good. I would say he's a, he's a good charity manager. He's not really a, a good Premier League manager, but he's all right. He's not as bad as some of the others. So I say with the size he brought in, they might stay, I think they will stay up now. Because Scott Parker won Premier League manager, where... Um, he yeah, have been coaching very long when Marcus Silva has got experience in the Premier League. That's the only difference. And ever and on to on to Everton's part now. Last week they had a a one one draw at home to one one draw at home to Forest. They scored in the eighty eighth minute after Forest were one. The, the, that's a decent result to come back and get a point. It's always a valuable point against a decent Forest team that have actually come up. So, decent results. So, overall, I'm just going to say set up for a 1 1 draw. Both teams, I can't see much the equal in the both of these teams, with all fairness. And on Brighton, Brighton, on to the next game now Brighton versus Leeds. Brighton, off to an unbeaten start, two wins and one draw, and a massive win last week. Last Sunday, 2 0 winner at, at the London Stadium. West Ham have got off to a start, not a great start. More of the league, zero goals and five conceded. Quite surprised, really, considering how good West Ham usually are as a team. And the Leeds part, they keep gaining valuable points. I'm predicting them to go down, but they seem to do, be doing really well. Un, unbeaten so far. A win at home to us on the. Leeds beat us on the first game of the season at home. They drew a 2 2 at Southampton. 2 0 up, but he did lose. To, but he got. But Southampton got two goals back. There's still a valuable point against a decent side. And what a win at home to Chelsea. A 3 0 win. And what a game. It's a great game. I thought Leeds were slightly better. Chelsea seemed to be a little bit sloppy despite, despite doing quite well. So overall here. I can see just another 1 1 draw. Both sides are really good and got off to a positive start, so 1 1. Next, we go on to the next game Chelsea versus Leicester. Both teams that have got off to. Chelsea got off to a slightly better start, but Leicester have got off to a poor start with lack of transfer business. Chelsea last week didn't play terrible, but defensively they were poor and it was just a little bit sloppy over the pitch. That's the only difference. The, uh, 
even though the ass ending off at the end, personally, I thought that didn't stop them. They were 3-0 down anyway. It's near the end of the game. But disappointing for Koulibaly, despite he hasn't been there very long. The one we signed for Napoli. On Leicester's part, not the best sign, but it just proves you don't spend your struggle. Napoli are in fear of walls, but look who he has spent now. They have, so far, they've got off to two defeats. One against Arsenal and Southampton, and a draw against Brentford. So they have one point, and the only team they have beaten so far, in with this isn't in league action, with the DFL Cup action, Stockport, and that was just about on penalties. And Stockport, a team that have just actually struggled to life so far. But overall, I do think it's a solid win for Chelsea. They will get the win here. So Chelsea two, ball left, uh, Chelsea two, Leicester nil. Um, Liverpool versus Bournemouth now. Liverpool disappointing defeat at. Um, at Manchester United, I didn't think they would lose that. They just didn't turn up for that game. Man United weren't much better either, but they were slightly better compared to Liverpool. Though it was a day where Liverpool didn't turn up, and Man United managed to get the result, a surprise result. And on Bournemouth part, apart from that good win at home to Aston Villa, the first game of the season, they've been poor. Defeats to Man Man City four 0 and a defeat last week to Arsenal three 0 away. And at Arsenal had a goal ruled out. It could have easily been four 0 but I don't think they'll win this one. So, 2-0 to Liverpool. I don't think it'll be 3 or 4. But they just want to get their first win under their under their belt. And I think they might do it. So, 2-0 to Liverpool. Next game now. Man City versus Crystal Palace. Man City last Sunday. A 3-3 free, free draw at New, away at Newcastle. Two points dropped. But still sc still scoring. Haaland with a goal again. Maybe disappointed with their defence. The overall, it's a good point. Let's not underestimate Newcastle. It's not an embarrassing result or... A disappointing results. They're a very good side this year, and they've actually signed at someone called Alexander Isaac today for six, 63 million, a record club fee. They're definitely spending. They'll definitely be up there this season for Europe. It's so exciting, but it, it is oil money. But I put expect from Saudi owners, say like Man City, for example. The Newcastle is one of the richest clubs in the world, and Crystal Palace. What a what a win at home. One one draw away at, at Liverpool the other week, and he scored first. And a 3-1 win at home to Aston Villa. They did go off to a poor start, but I think they finally got their I think they finally got their momentum going now after some positive results. And a big win in the Caribbean Cup away at Oxford. I know they're League One, but that gives them another confidence boost as well. Try and push on to do well in that this year. And apparently, I know that um, in the game against Villa last week, they had a goal ruled out, and Zaha did miss the pen, but. Um, they got the rebound in, so so you might miss the pen. The goal at the same time because it was it was a, a rebound shot. Yeah. So personally, I don't think it's that much chance for this one, but but they will be all right this season. So Man City three, Crystal Palace nil. Next game now, Arsenal versus Fulham. You could say this is a London derby, but one's north, one is west. Arsenal have got off to a smashing start so far, top of the league. Three wins out of three uh, at Crystal Palace, Leicester at home, and Bournemouth away. They could have, and they have one goal rolled out last week. Up against Fulham here, they've had a great start to life in the Premier League, but I do think Arsenal slightly favour this side and will get the win. So Arsenal two, Fulham, uh, Fulham one. They will, they will get one goal. Don't underestimate Fulham Arsenal. Right, on to the next game now Aston Villa versus West Ham. Aston Villa. Haven't got off to the best start, but they have got one win and like West Ham. But and they did have that big win to carry a couple of weight bolt and that one gives them momentum as well. They've had, well West Ham they've had zero points, three defeats, zero goals and five conceded. So I reckon if if either Villa win this narrowly, or it's a draw. So I don't think much is going to happen here. So it has to be a one West Ham one. I might be wrong, but this is just what I think. Right, next game now. Wolves versus Newcastle. We have failed to turn up so far with no win in three. Two defeats and one draw. The full, the point against Fulham was this point, but it was a point gained on the board. It was a valuable point against Fulham, who have started really well. And we lost 1-0 to Tottenham last week, but we dominated that first half. The Tottenham was slightly better second half. Uh, they didn't dominate us. We just couldn't get that goal. But oh, but we played well. 
I think we need time to, for the players to get settled, and Bruno does need to finally get it right. But over, but soon will we manage to get it right? We'll be pretty getting the wins. Newcastle here, they signed a very good players. If any team's going to win, I would say it's Newcastle. But overall, I do think we can try and get a point. So far, they've had some good results. So uh, even a 3-3 draw at home to Man City last week. Despite playing against the likes of Silva, Gundogan and Haaland, who is still also a smashing start, with, th with three goals. Yeah, but he got off to a positive uh, start, unlike Lukaku did from Chelsea. You need, let me look. Also, I'll read through some of the Newcastle signings today. Now, if I if I if I may, he signed. I think let's have a look at players he signed. Signed Nick Pope from Burnley, Matt Target from Villa, Savan Botman from Lille, and he signed. I think he signed Matt Target permanently, and he's Bruno Guimaraes, and he signed Alexander Arnold from Real Sociedad today. A really good signing, that is. Record called transfer fee. They got the money though, Newcastle. I reckon they'll be around the top ten this season. Possibly higher. So one one draw here. If if any of the teams gonna win, it'll be Newcastle, but we just need to turn up that day. Next game now, Forest versus Spurs. What a valuable point for Forest. Played well against played poor against Newcastle, played but played well against West Ham narrowly and got the win. And and a good and a good point away at Everton, but he dropped the point in the last minute to Everton, but still a really good result, though. And Spurs beat us 1-0 last week. They didn't get dominated. It was a very good game, but they managed to get the goal, and Kane managed to get a, make history for Tottenham. Over, you look at the game. Second half, totally deserved. And us, well, they managed to get the goal, which puts them on paper slightly better after their start. But overall, it wasn't. It was nothing special for one to them, but they did. They did play well, but so did we. Just couldn't score, and we did dominate them in certain parts throughout the game. So I'm going to say for this game, Forest two, Spurs three. Anything can happen. I think we're all out here for a very good game this weekend. So right, then, guys, we'll wrap the video up now. So if you did enjoy the video, do give a like, do subscribe to the channel, and also turn your notifications every time I make a video. I'll be doing the Champions League Europa, Europa League draws pretty soon. It just had the time recently with college getting the GCSE results and. Key yeah, so CSE yeah, so results, and I was out. Um, I was out. Um, I was out doing something yesterday. I was out at TJO Friday, having, um, and I was out at a little dessert shop yesterday doing something, which was nice to end it. Did get back home with a bit nervous about the results, which I did. But I'm going to resit them now at college. I'm going to resit in college, so I hope they can try and pass them this time. So right, um, I'll wrap. The, uh, so thank you for watching today, guys. Have a good one. See you on the next one. Bye, everyone.